Hi, I'm Ed Johnson, a guitarist, singer, composer, arranger, and recording artist based here in the San Francisco Bay Area. The wonderful artists I've worked with over the past 25 years have played a significant role in helping me realize my musical vision. Songs and compositions that are in part inspired by my lifelong love of Brazilian music, as well as by classical, jazz, rock, and folkloric styles from around the world. Joining me in this musical quest over the years are two stellar musicians, the incredible Canadian pianist and singer Jennifer Scott and sax flute maestra Kristen Strom. Hi, I'm Jennifer Scott. I've performed and recorded with Ed Johnson over the past 20 years, and my collaborations with him have been really fulfilling, challenging, and full of the kind of human interaction and exchange of ideas that go towards creating enduring art and music. And I really value the respect that he shows for both Kristen and I, as strong female artists in particular. So playing his music has been one of the joys and highlights of my professional career. Hi, I'm Kristen Strong. I'm a Bay Area-based jazz musician. Um, I'm a woodwind player, saxophone, flute, clarinet, and vocalist as well. I uh, first started playing with Ed about 20 years ago uh, when I played on his album, Over That Wave. I've always loved Ed's Brazilian-style songs and music. He's made of melody, and I'm really proud to be an integral part of the sound of Novo Tempo. I'm confident I can speak for both myself and Jennifer in uh, saying how much we appreciate Ed and the respect he shows us as strong female artists. About 18 years ago, I started working on a recording with these uniquely talented women, along with several stellar musicians from the San Francisco and Seattle music scenes. John Worley on trumpet and flugelhorn, guitarist Scott Sorkin, bassist Renee Wurst, drummers Mark Ivester and Jason Lewis, and percussionists Jeff Bush and Michelle Gorlitz. The name Novo Tempo means new times or new time in Portuguese. I had been performing a song of the same title by the great Brazilian songwriter Ivan Lins over the years, and I thought the name captured the spirit and vision of this new ensemble. The recordings we made garnered wide national and international acclaim. It's now been several years since the release of our last studio recording. Life and family obligations delayed commencing a follow-up to 2008's The Other Road. But I have continued writing over the past several years, and I feel the time has come, finally, to start a new recording with this incredible family of musicians. The current times we're living in have made me even more passionate about bringing our music's themes of love, hope, diversity, and living life to its fullest to the public once again. I'm reaching out here for your support in helping to bring this project to completion to cover recording costs both for studio time, musicians' fees, post-production, marketing, and distribution. My hope is that you'll be inspired to help us make this happen. And by participating as a donor, you can expect some attractive perks, a list of which will appear on this site.